Hi, my name is Elaine from Buildmax and in this video I'd like to show you how to connect your Geomax Zenit Series GNSS Rover and Base. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is open up XPad Ultimate and tap on settings. Then we want to tap on GNSS and Total Station. So from here, we're going to select our profile. So the first one we're going to select is our base station. So tap on base and tap on current. So the software will ask us if we want to configure the receiver. For now, we'll tap yes, but I would usually tap no. So when I set up a profile, um, I tend not to change it. So I might have multiple profiles set up. Um, so if we don't change anything in the profile, you don't need to configure the antenna. So for now, we'll just wait for the antenna to configure. And then once it's configured successfully, we'll tap the back arrow. So this will bring us back to the home screen. Then we'll tap on start base and current position. So now it's connecting to the base. And then here it just asks us for a base ID, a code, an antenna height. So right now I'm just going to leave it at one and not enter an antenna height. So in our base position, it's asking us where is the base. So we're going to tap measure here. And then we'll tap get approximate position. So if we had smart fix set up, we could tap get RTK position from NTRIP, but we're not using that now. So from here, once it's given us our norting and easting, we tap next and start base. So now the base station is started. and it's been started successfully, the software will prompt us with the rover. So again, we're going to tap tick. So that's the rover for us. Then it'll ask us, do we want to configure? So for the purpose of this, we'll tap yes. But again, I would just tap no if I hadn't make any changes to the profile. So we'll just wait for that to configure. So in the configuration process, it should only take about maybe 10 seconds for it to configure. Um, once that's done successfully, we'll tap on GNSS and then it'll give us our GNSS status. So it'll tell us what satellites we're connected to and whether we've got a fixed position. So here we've got our quality. So you can see that we've got six GPS, seven GLONASS, um, and we've got a fixed position. We could have licenses loaded there for Beidou and Galileo. I just don't have. Thanks for watching.